Kia ora, Vatos. Thanks again for tuning into yet another video. Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's just get into it. Of course, why is it that Harley, you know, sucks at <laughs> bringing us good stuff? Uh, you know, giving us a good dealer event. Why is it that uh, Harley's always dragging their feet? Why is it that these prices keep on going up without similar uh, quality performance? Uh, everything else for the same reason why I've been saying for so many years Harley sells unfinished bikes all right Harley is a t-shirt company that sells unfinished bikes it is what it is guys and it's just profitable for them to you know to be doing so there's just no profit for them to give us everything that they have I've been saying this for so many years Harley has everything available to them to make these bikes great but it's gonna cut into their profits it is what it is dealers are also in the same boat of course and uh the reason why they don't do it is because they'll start cutting into the profits of the dealerships of course the the service department uh if you're buying your bike and it comes with great suspension great performance everything there's no need to be paying for the stage one stage two stage three stage four 131 all of that you know all of that stuff of course and that's all labor you know, $160 an hour based on, you know, depending on where you live, uh, that's money lost for dealers and for, of course, um, <laughs> Harley Davidson. All right. Harley makes a lot of money off of the performance lineup. And then, of course, once you have that, I mean, you just lean toward getting that, you know, warranted, extended warranty ESP. So now that's even more money. Anyways, it is what it is. So I'm just going to show you guys the parts, everything that I've been saying over the, you know, the last so many years, Harley can easily just swap out all the garbage that they put on their bikes for anything that they have from the Screaming Eagle lineup. And get this, I've always said this, everything they have is 50 state legal. So there's no excuse as in, oh, well, California can't, you know, can't have it. So we got to, um, as far as manufacturing bikes for the 49 states or the 48 states, of course, and then manufacturing bikes for just California, it's, it's just not uh, profitable to be doing so, to be uh, producing two different bikes, one for California and then one for the rest of the United States. It, that, I mean, that's not an excuse because everything screaming eagle is 50 state legal of course except for probably the 131 and the tuners because they're still being uh certified and approved by carb but that might still happen pretty soon maybe within the next year or two years we might see uh you know the screaming eagle tuner the new one get approved by carb and then uh you know riders in california where i live we're gonna be able to start uh, tuning these bikes for full uh, full headers and full uh, full exhaust. So, anyways, let's just get into it. Of course, we have here the sport touring. This is supposed to be the performance uh, bagger from Harley Davidson. And what does it have? What does it have? Really, uh, nothing. It's got a 117 and it's got uh, regular saddlebags, so you can lean the bike a little bit more. So it's got the 117. Uh, does it have better performance, as in uh, braking, stopping power? No. Uh, what about suspension? Nope. Uh, 117, that's the difference of what? Three uh, three foot-pounds of torque. So now <laughs> Harley wants us to, wants us to pay up uh, $29,000 for regular standard Roll Glide saddlebags. And of course, the Prodigy wheels and a 117. That's, I mean, that's not, that's not huge performance gains. Why treat the customer this way? Because f them, that's why. <laughs> Now look, I've been saying this for a long time. You can get yourself a standard Broad Glide with the 124, and it'll probably still cost you less depending on where you get it installed. Of course, uh, just depending on promotions and stage one, stage two, 124. Some dealers have special promotions depending on the month, but you could probably get a better Road Glide with a 124 and still pay less than the uh, than the Sport Touring. Bulb glide right here. So 117, come on, that's garbage. And you get halogen bulbs. And the reason why, of course, they do this is to incentivize you to pay, pay Harley more money and then finance that stuff. Of course, you're financing performance parts, suspension, uh, you know, whatever you're financing, whatever your deal is, of course. And then now that's more money for Harley 
And then you also get a percentage of that, 8%, 10%, 20%, whatever your your interest rate is. Of course, that's more money for Eagle Financing, and that's also Harley. So at the end of the day, it all goes back to Harley, and then the dealers get the uh, get the profits from installing those parts, like I said in the beginning of the video. So uh, let's just look at the parts. Like I said, they, I mean, they have everything. They have the stuff that you want. You, they have the braking, they have the suspension, they have the performance parts, and it's all 50 state legal. So here's, you know, better stopping power, better suspension. Of course, 850 bucks, give me money. All right, here we have, uh, we have a red caliper, big whoopee, not a big deal. But uh, right over here, we have premium ride adjustable towing shocks, $584, give me money. And then on top of that, imagine getting the stuff installed by your local dealer at 160 uh, per hour. So let's go over here to lighting, you know, halogen bulbs. You guys been doing the halogen bulbs for so long. Your $30,000 bikes have halogen bulbs, but yet here you are selling LED turn signals for $124 when you could just easily include that. I, I'm almost certain all of this stuff is being made in China. And how much is this really costing Harley just to kind of throw this on there? I don't know. Does Harley have a huge warehouse, millions of acres full of halogen bulbs, and they just got to get rid of them? So <laughs> that could be the reason why we still get halogen bulbs. Sorry, we still get halogen bulbs and the STs and the El Diablo. I believe the only bikes that don't have, uh, that have actually LEDs are the CVOs and I think the. Um, the uh, the uh, Revolution Max uh, bikes, I believe those are the only ones that have LEDs. But everything else, you you buy a, a special road glide or a ST road glide, you're getting the garbage uh, signal lights. Now you have to give me more money for the uh, LEDs. That pretty much LEDs have been around for so many years, but Harley has yet to uh, add that to <laughs> to their to their basic to their standard lineup. So. Let's move on over. Of course, you also have LEDs on the on the towing. I mean, look at all these options. And of course, Harley makes all of this. They manufacture it along along the same lines of all their other stuff. And they could easily throw any of this into the bike and just raise race. I mean, they're already increasing the prices by thousands of dollars. The Street Bob got a huge increase, almost two thousand bucks. You guys are charging the consumer. Six, uh, seven hundred, a thousand dollars worth of surcharge. You guys can't even throw any of this stuff in there. Come on, Harley. This is why people are fed up. This is why your your fans, your consumers, are fed up with the with the BS updates, with the BS paint jobs. I I know I made a video, but uh, about the paint jobs, they're beautiful. You know, thousand five hundred bucks. In my opinion, it's a good deal, but. Man, you could throw in some of this stuff, you know, just to sweeten the pot. All right, let's move on over to the Screaming Eagle parts. Of course, you have all of this. They still ship you the uh, the paper filter on the um, on on the ventilator on the 114s. I believe they even do that with the uh, with the uh, 117s. I, I believe you have to buy the uh, the high flow air filter to really get that performance out of it. So that's just it's just a little bit of nick picking here and there. Uh, nickel and diming uh, customers that were just fed up with it. All right, that's that's what it is. So, and like I mentioned before, I've I've been making wish list videos for the last two three years, of course, and I've been asking for some of this stuff. Like I said, in, in a lot of the videos, you guys can add any of this, you know, get rid of some of the garbage you guys have on the bikes, and just give us some of this stuff right here that you guys are already manufacturing along, alongside, uh, you know, the garbage stuff that you guys give us. And here it is, of course. SNS sells this, now Harley can sell it too. Harley's been having so many issues with their sumping, with their oil pump. Well, guess what? Instead of fixing it, <laughs> give me money. Give me money, all right? I want to say the F, the F word, but give me money right here, all right? You guys are having the 2017s, the 2018s, the 2019s. They all have grenades in them. And yet, here's the fix. Here's the improvement. It's BS, all right? And that's why... Everybody's kind of fed up with it. And of course you have your tuners. You have spark plugs, of course, uh, high air filters. Here's, here's another one right here. 64 high flow, uh, throttle body, of course. And like I said, most of this, most of this is 50 state legal. Okay. I think, uh, most of it, as far as, 
anything that's been manufacturing uh 2020 maybe 2021 i think 2021 some of the stuff they started making of course that's not uh some of it's still waiting approval but i'm almost certain it's going to be 50 state approved and of course with harley's tuner that is you know epa friendly of course you know it, i'm pretty certain it's going to pass so here we have another one right here of course uh the twin models garbage suspension and here's the fix for it right here here's, here's the fix but guess what a thousand five hundred give me money anyways i've made my point you guys leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think of course uh i know i've i've provided both sides of the argument both point of views but uh this is just something that i've been saying over the last you know three years that i've been ranting about they have all of this all of this that you see here of course all of this is available and they could easily just swap things out and put you know this stuff and i know most of this stuff's not gonna it's not costing them you know overall it's not costing them anything to produce a lot of this you know material it's not like they're making this out of titanium or if they're 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 you know molding this out of carbon fiber i don't know if you guys seen there's performance parts made out of carbon fiber oh and look at this <laughs> look what they have here they have a they have a cam bearing that actually works and guess what give me money 52 dollars. you want a you want a high performance cam bearing give me money 52 dollars they should be throwing this in there already a lot of the engine builders uh mentioned that this is one of the most common parts that fail in these uh in these milwaukee eights throw that in there throw a decent cam bearing everybody already said how how garbage uh the cam bearing is and yet here you are selling the uh the fix like most of this like everything on here i mean they have the fix for it they know what's wrong with these bikes but yet give me money all right enough ranting you guys stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's risk get out there and ride later